Let's go guys, it's Raul TV, yours truly, your favourite YouTube mechanic. We're back, back again and what we're doing this time round is I've got a Citroen C3 2010 um, petrol or diesel, it doesn't really matter, it should be exactly the same. We're going to go ahead and replace the front coil spring, okay? Nice job, if everything comes off nice and easy, it should be half an hour's job, okay? But if it doesn't, which in my case, my look, it doesn't, okay? <laughs> it, I'm in for a long run. But anyway guys, let's see what's what. Uh, from the coil spring Citroen C3 2010. Let's go. Right there we have it. I've took, I've sent the car up on the ramp. If you're going to attempt it on the floor, make sure it's nice and safe. Put some axle stands on it. You get, the, you know the drill. Put some axle stands on it. Put a block on the back. Make sure it's nice and safe. As you can see here, absolutely freestyling, knackered, snapped off. Well, the first thing what we're going to do is there's two ways to do it okay one way is take the full leg off okay but in this case i would say it's better if we don't do it that way worst comes to worst we might need to do it that way but what we, what i'm going to attempt is do it the easier way which i think okay on this car we're going to take the drop link off one side of it whichever side either side uh, you can attempt the top or the bottom okay we're going to take the drop link off and then we're going to go ahead and take this one off here but first things first let's take first things first let's take the drop link off okay to take the drop link off a 16 mil on mine 16 mil socket or a spanner or a ratchet whatever you got okay so what you need to do is because it'll start spinning you need to get a 17 mil spanner round the back here okay as you can see that will hold the drop link and then what you do is you get that one and basically Take that off. All right, the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take that one off, okay? It's a 16 mil nut. Uh, it shouldn't turn on the other side. On the other side, it's got like a square cutout kind of thing, right? So we, we can just leave that there. We'll just take the nut off on this side and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay, that is off, that nut is off, not hard. I mean, it put up a little bit of fight, but come off at the end. What we're gonna do is leave that in there, like that. I know it will come out and everything, it'll move and everything, as you can see there, right? So leave that in there. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take the ball joint uh, uh, nut and bolt off, uh, which is there, 16 mil on mine. That should come straight off. If you need to, you need to hold it on this side, hold it on this side. I think it's a 17 or a 16 on this side as well. Take that off. Uh, give that a few hit should come down ball joint should come off and uh, we'll go from there Right now that the pinch bolt is off what we're gonna do now is give that a little bit of a hit or a slide hammer or whatever you got Main objective is to get the ball joint out of the hub uh, No two ways about it. Just give it a hit. It should come out Right ball joint is off. I'm gonna no two ways about it. That was absolutely rock-solid I had to get the bar, big bar on it, okay, and my brother had to give it a hit on the uh, ball joint on the wishbone. So that's come off. What we're going to do now is we're going to send it down. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this brake flexi holes out of the this bit here. That flexi off. If you want, you can take the brake caliper off totally. Uh, it's only one ball, but I think we can just about get away with it. Uh, take this one off here as well. These little ABS wire plug things. Right, so we've got these off the shocker, you know, the wire ABS wire there. That brake hose is off from the shocker as well. Uh, we'll take that bolt out, the main bolt, that one, that one comes out. Right, then what we're going to do is we're going to... If you can get a chisel around the back here, I'll mention one minute. Around here, if you can get a chisel in there, get a chisel in there. If not, pry bar or something, or a crowbar in there, in that gap there. Okay, we'll get a pry bar in there, crowbar in there, and give it a little hit. And give it a little hit on the top here, top of the hub. That should come down, release from the shocker.
Okay, there we have it. The hub is off the shock absorber. Like I, like I mentioned, you have to give it a few hits. If you can get a chisel in there, get a chisel in there. Basically in this gap here. Okay, this one here. Uh, that's it, it's off now. All we're gonna do now is send it down and tackle the top. Please be aware, when you do take the the uh, hub off the shock absorber, the hub is gonna go this way, okay? It's gonna go towards uh, outwards. Uh, it might pop the drive shaft out, okay? If it does pop the drive shaft out, it, you are gonna have a little bit of a leak, but don't worry about that. You can re-top it up again, uh, no problem. And yeah, let's send it down and uh, let's take the top half of the shocker off. Let's do it. Right, okay, I've sent the car down. What we're gonna do is we need to take the wiper arms off. So that's off from there, take that off. Take these caps off. Both caps, this one and this one. I need a little flat, flat screwdriver to flick that off. Uh, I think the 15 mil or 16 mil nut there. Take them off. Let's take the wiper arms off. Okay, to take the wiper arms off, obviously I've took the 16 mil nut off, nuts off. Right, so lift it up like that and just give it. That's one off. Same with this one. This one, I think the bonnet needs to come down, uh, and then we can take that one off. Right, so lift it up. Give it a little. See. There we go. That one comes off. If it doesn't come off, then you just have to persevere with it and uh, hopefully it should come off. When you're refitting it again, put some copper grease on there or put some grease or some sort of maintenance spray. That way, next time if you, in the future, if you ever have to take them off, they'll come off nice and easy. Okay, after we've taken the arms off, this panel needs to come off, this one here. So, I think all we need to do is just lift it up. It's clicked in there kind of thing all the way along there. So we just have to lift it up. We only have to get both hands on it maybe. Just like that. Okay. That panel is totally off. Now we need to take this off. What you could do just to be on the safe side, can you see these two little holes there? Get a Tipex and just mark them. Okay, put some Tipex in there through there and through there or paint or whatever you've got just to mark it and then that way you know where the mounting goes on these two little holes there that one and that one right so what we're going to do is as you can see there i've marked it okay on one of them i didn't mark the other one just need to mark one right so what we're going to do 21 size socket bang it on there put some oil on there get the gun on it guns on Basically, just take that off. Uh, obviously, I'm going to hold it on this side with one hand and take it off with the other hand. A few moments later. Okay, I've got it on the pillar here. Okay, the pillar spring clamp. Um, if you haven't got one of these presses, coil spring presses, um, the spring clamps, then if you're going to do it with the individual clamps, I would recommend you be very careful. Okay, you don't want it coming off and then hit you on the face. What we're going to do now is I've already cracked it. I'm going to take that one off, size 19 that is. So if you get a gun with a 19 on it, take that off. See, we marked it there. If you are changing this rubber mount, okay, what I'm doing is I'm just going to change the bearing, okay, the mountings are all right. If you are changing this rubber mount, make sure this part here, that raised bit, goes towards the front of the car, okay? I've marked it anyway, so best bet, just mark it if you're not changing it. If you are changing it, then this raised bit goes towards the front of the car. Okay, let's do it. Okay, as you can see guys, I've got the spring back on, the shockers back on, everything is on. Uh, what we're gonna do now is, obviously we need to get that through there, up to that mark. So I've got the uh, the gearbox lift on it, the hoist on it. So I'm gonna, I've got it all in there. Two people, I would recommend two people to put it back on. Uh, one person to hold it up and another person to get the uh, nut on, the top nut on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to jack this up in turn. It should lift that up there. Okay, shock absorber's back on. That bolt is back in there. Got the pipe back on, the flexi pipe back on, flexi hose back on. The wires fed through again. Drop link nut is on, not tight obviously. We're going to put the ball joint bolt back on, the pinch bolt back on. And that's about it. Every, 
literally just finish it in reverse order. We're going to put the wiper arms on. Don't forget to put the wiper arms on. And that's it. Finish it in reverse order. Let's go. Let's finish it off. Guys, that's how we replace the clutch uh, coil spring on a Citroen C3 2010 plate. Um, not, I mean, not the easiest job. I'll be straight up with you, it, it, it is quite hard actually. I thought it would be, it'll be a lot easier than that. Um, but you need two guys, two people, one person to lift it up, one person to put it back on. Okay, that's the, what's one thing. The spring has got so much tension on it. Be careful, okay? If you're doing it with those individual uh, uh, spring clamps, make sure it's safe, okay? You don't want it flying off. Uh, and that's it so i'm just gonna bang the wheel back on everything else is done all i'm gonna say is like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for me leave a comment in the comment section sorry about the noise in the background and i'll see you guys soon